Recently, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, as well as the American Cancer Society and the Society of Gynecologic Oncology, approved new guidelines for pap smear screening that are much better than what we previously had. What we found with pap smears is that although they are incredibly important, we were actually over-treating young women and therefore causing potential harm in their ability to reproduce children and successfully carry them uh, to term. So the recommendations are now that the first pap test should be done at the age of 21. The time of first intercourse does not determine when the first pap smear should be done. At the age of 21, a pap test should be done every other year until the age of 30. At the age of 30, a pap test should be done every three years. And if there are three normal pap tests, then pap smears do not need to be done any longer. Now clearly, if you are a patient that falls into a category of those who previously had an abnormal pap test, then pap smears should be done on a more frequent basis to ensure that there is no change in uh, precancer cells to cancer cells. Women who should not follow these guidelines are those who are immunosuppressed, who have things like HIV or severe, poorly controlled diabetes. These women should have more frequent pap tests as recommended by their physician.